Hey everybody, welcome back to No Nonsense with Nico. I am Nico. We are live at Crossings, thanks to St. John Valley Live. Make sure to check them out on Facebook so that you can get notifications of all the stuff that they do, including, with me, yours truly, uh, community conversations. I uh, just want to plug, let you guys know real quick that UMFK Cares Virtual Trivia will be live because of St. John Valley live on Friday, May 15 at 8 p.m. They've got an, like a legit all-star lineup of people that I hope are smarter than they portray themselves as so that we can have higher hopes in our community. They are kind of the leaders. But I'm not going to name names uh, until they sign on the dotted line, but check it out. Uh, it's for U UMFK Care. So it's basically the UMFK Foundation and St. John Valley Live have support this. Um, they offer support to students throughout the entire campus. Um, they set a goal actually to raise, I think, $5,280, and it's hashtag first mile together. Um, their goal is that through, throughout the community, we challenge or they challenge viewers to hashtag go the extra mile by pledging another $5,280. You can go to umfk.edu slash alumni slash giving, click on UMFK Cares Fund, and if you would rather call, you can call 834-7800 and ask to talk to Shannon Lugden. Speaking of going the extra mile, we have some pretty extra things happening here today. We do have the king of comedy with you guys here tonight, and with me is Chris Malmbork. Uh, it's the mothership of, of jokes and one-liners, and we're super, super excited to have him tonight. I think I actually made you nervous for the first time in a long time. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm so nervous. <laughs> yeah. I'm lying, too. I know. Yeah. It's fine. I actually it's anticipate fine. making you a little nervous. I actually can't get nervous. I take way too many pills for that. Challenge, so. challenge accepted. <laughs> if you can, though, I will call my doctor and be like, you know what? It didn't work. <laughs> you know, though, I accidentally did take two of ones I should only take one of today, and I was like, Woof. I was, a, I had a little extra skip in me. That was just a diuretic, and that was you going <laughs> to the bathroom, but whatever. <laughs> hey, at least I turned my mic off. Okay, hey. nobody warned me it was on. I'm Why sorry. should you be warned that if you have a mic on, you turned it on? No, I didn't. Now I feel bad for Beth if you don't know when or when you have not turned something on. At least the only way pee. That's a valid point as well. <clears throat> you know yep. what? And thankful, thank, thank you for that. But You're I still feel bad for your wife. Well, I've been in those bathrooms and there's barely enough room <laughs> to pee. <so. laughs> I just think that those bathrooms, no matter what this, like this could be legit the Taj Mahal. Those bathrooms will always be 86 BJ's. They also need to have the little crossway open because <laughs> after hitting the wall the first time, you think you'd learn, but I'm on time number three. So, yeah. It's all right, though. But I'm glad you had me on tonight. I'm very, very happy that you're here. I think tonight's going to be a little bit cray cray. We got a lot of stuff going on. Well, getting prepared for it was a little bit. It was, it was interesting. Mess. So, Chris, what are the lions doing around town? We are doing. We see you out and about all the time. Yeah, it's been pretty crazy. I mean, uh, the fact that we can't really meet has kind of made it hard on us. No, but that's good, though. Uh, yeah, you're right, because nobody really wants to see me. That's true. So that's, that's also a good point. Thanks. Super true. Yeah, except you. I yeah, think. well, I actually didn't invite you here, so. That's true as well. <laughs> Josh, thanks, by the okay, way. Okay, so what happened? Because I have seen your mug on FB a little more than usual. Yeah, so we're trying to just, I guess we started by trying to keep spirits up. And that can be a little on the hard side right now because there's a lot going on in everybody's life. So a bunch of the guys came together and said, you know what, let's start off. Let's just put a, a message of hope out there. <clears throat> so we went out, we bought some banners, put them up all, all over town at like 630 in the morning. And uh, that's where we kind of kicked off our giving back uh, more than we normally would do. Did Roy help you out a lot? Roy Bernard. Roy Bernard? Who is that? Let's he happens... That's fine. I mean, he happens to be our treasurer. I heard he can't count. Well, he he's, keeps counting up, so that's really, <laughs> that's, that's all that matters. Whether it makes something at the end, I, I still think he's doing a great pool. job. Yeah, yeah. I know, he's the man, though, isn't he? He is the man who's going to give you a write-up on Monday morning, but that's okay. <laughs> Hello. Being so professional here. 
Uh huh. No, you guys have been doing some crazy things. So you did the Banners of Hope. We did, and we got uh, small posters for every business in town that we could think of. Yeah. Um, and a bunch of the guys went around with those. And then kind of the given need right now was food. And around here, we got a lot of prideful people, I guess. Yeah. That's even a word. But, I mean, uh, after a couple of those tornadoes that she made, yes, it can be a word. <laughs> Good, because there's other words coming. Uh, but, uh, Stay tuned. <laughs> later. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we started giving, uh, coming up with ideas how to give food. And we got these restaurants who are doing this amazing stuff. They're literally taking money out of their own pocket. No, it's nuts. It, it's amazing. So we stepped up, and with the help of the area farmers, we got bags of potatoes. I mean, we've got thousands of bags of potatoes now, thousands of pounds. And with that, we went to every restaurant, delivered some uh, crossings as well, because they've been doing the same thing. And we've done a monetary... See, I saw the potatoes. I just thought everyone here was Irish. That's... And it was like a hoarding thing. That's, yeah. Since the plague, yeah. You need to get out just a little bit more. Don't tell that to anyone who's ever seen me out. They're like, <laughs> her, she absolutely does not. Her mother would tell you otherwise. All right. She has. You in the back. Hey, nothing but truth. <laughs> My mom's at home like... That's damn right. Yeah, that's right. She's writing me an apology letter on Facebook <laughs> as we speak. <sighs> oh, so, but no, we did that, and then we gave money as well. Uh, we gave a check for a monetary donation to each restaurant along with the potatoes, and we're actually this week on our second round of doing that. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Yep, I knew the potatoes thing. Yep. I knew the banners of hope because when I saw the rainbow flag outside your house, I was confused. Thanks. Because I thought... That when Beth married you, that meant she was a lesbian. But then I realized yeah. banners of I, I put the two together. I'm glad I was able to connect those dots I'm for just, you. You know what? Yeah. Because it was like I'd been saying it behind your back, and now I just feel like it's out in the open. Just like everyone else, really. <sighs> I yeah. feel like a oh, wait has been. This has been really productive for me. Yeah, Beth, I'll be home soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. No need. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for locking the door and changing the automatic combination. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Just six nine, six nine. I used to like it. Yeah, that would <laughs> easy entrance for you at your house. Huh? Yep, Chris, everybody's welcome. Chris Ryan said prideful is not a word. Yeah, but Ryan actually just started learning how to use and what a dictionary is. So I'm assuming that's my brother Ryan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Ryan dictionary. It's more than just a paperweight. Hey, buddy. Yeah. So thank you for that, Josh. Not it's fine, Ryan. I learned last week that thesaurus is not a dinosaur. So. Wow. <laughs> Your son taught you that, right? I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm just, I did know that a thesaurus was not a dinosaur. Okay, moving on to the next subject. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm just saying, I mean, I am a little bit dumb. I will admit that. I've said some really stupid things. What's the most stupid thing that you've ever said that you could think of off the top of your head? Because I can think of a bunch for myself. Am I allowed to be? Yeah, I can do that. Um, yeah. It was via text. Oh, God. The, yeah. And uh, somebody asked me, hey, what are you doing? And, of course, I don't read my text, and autocorrect is <laughs> the devil. And uh, I said, I'm home eating an asshole. <laughs> 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 One would wonder why my autocorrect would automatically take apple and make it <laughs> that. I've yet to talk to that person again oh, since. Oh, yeah. I probably would have blocked you, too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I was working. MMA. We haven't talked in years. Yeah, no, I was working for the sheriff's department at the time, so <laughs> it, <laughs> it was much more interesting than that. Yeah, that makes it so good. It was bad. Oh, that's like, but that's like, what? Can you think of anything that you've said that were it was just like someone had to really question your intelligence? For instance, Josh, I'm not even going to talk about when you and I worked at a call center together. Actually, I know I will because it was funny. So Josh and I used to work at MBNA together. Like when it first opened, so we were freshmen in college. We were like 17, 18. Anyways, we're sitting next to each other. And I had to set a call back. And she was like, yeah, call me at 8.30, whatever. But she lived in Arizona. And I was like, Josh. Hey, Josh. Is Arizona in our time zone? <laughs> is it? No. Of course it's I'm not. not. Oh, shit. I thought you were dumb, too. Well, I'm, I'm no, not. but I didn't realize just how stupid I am until I've like had to put together all the really dumb things I've said. Like I, I thought the Everglades was a country, and I thought you needed a passport to get there. Yeah, you do. At like 28 years old, 
That was really embarrassing when I found out that I just, like everyone, just let me keep, keep talking. And you're still single? Oh, hard to believe. I don't, I, I. You fully believe that, I believe it. 100%. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be worse tonight, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who swiped right right now is deactivating their account. Your Facebook account just went oh. pew, pew, like yeah. block. Yeah. Uh -huh. No. Yeah. I really have said some dumbass things. We all do. We all do. You know what? It's kind of dumb, but makes me laugh. Did you watch Tiger King? I have not. I'm the only person in, well, New Canada that hasn't. Chris! I am sorry. Okay, well, you know, have you heard of the infamous Carol Baskin? Yes. <clears throat> I've heard backstory. So for those of you who have watched Tiger King, she submitted, she submitted, she submitted a video of her and her boyfriend dancing to Justin Bieber for his new video with Ariana Grande. Oh my God, Nick. are you okay? Was I that funny that you're choking up? Oh, you're so sweet. He's crying because he sees no, nobody's he's watching right now. He was gonna go deaf last week because he was connected to my mic. Yeah. Oh, I'm good now. It's because he's on yours. You're great. <laughs> Testing. <clears throat> oh, shut it. So, okay, so she, Posted this video of herself dancing with her boyfriend, which was super creepy. Like, I didn't think that Tiger King could get more creepy, but they did. Um, and so they did not make the video. But then I just, like, down the rabbit hole of Tiger King, and I saw that Nicolas Cage is going to play the Tiger King. I may have heard that. I know nothing about Tiger King, but I know that. But why, Nicolas Cage, though, I feel like he comes out of the woodwork for, like... The little bit of crazy? Just the craziest thing. Yeah. Like, how is this Tiger King show going to tie into the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> I want to know how they're going to make that connection, because it's going to happen. Very carefully. And Josh then John Travolta, right at the end, is going to be like, face off. And then the movie's done. <laughs> Have you guys seen Mandy? Mandy? That feels like a Barry Manilow show. Or a song, because Manilow's a singer, Mandy. in case you weren't. I did know who, listen, you can't have my mother and not know every Barbra Streisand or Barry Manilow song. Good Lord. My mother used this to This is explaining so much right now. You know that, <clears throat> right? Oh, I'm glad this is the Mother's Day show, because we're going to talk a lot about our moms here. My mother, when everybody else was like just hanging out, talking to their moms, like learning things on rides to Presque Isle to go to the mall. My mom had me listening to Helen Reddy. I am woman, hear me roar. And she used to make me listen to that song over and over, memorize all the words, and so that I could be like my own personal Tiger King. Just wow, you're killing it every morning. We had four non-blondes playing. Yeah. <laughs> I sang that song once with the John Clavette band when we were in Portland, <laughs> and I was so nervous that I kept cracking. I sounded like a little kid going through puberty. I was like, hey. It was really embarrassing. It was so bad that when we got backstage, I like deleted the recording when I got back and I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't, I don't think I hit the button. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> they were like, you sucked, that's why. Everybody knew. No, no, you're great. It was. You were great. <laughs> it was, it was great. So we have to get to know you better because we know you, that you're a comedian. We know you as a funny dude. A family man. Sarcasm can be mistaken as funniness, I guess. No. Because I yeah, love sarcasm. Right. Yeah, yes. Chris, do you have an issue with uh, drive throughs My wife is obviously on the computer right now. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Thank you. So I don't, I'm afraid of, I won't say nothing, <laughs> but I'm afraid of nothing. Except McDonald's drive through Why are you afraid of the drive through I don't know. I don't, well. Like what is, about it freaks you out? The whole thing. Behind. Like, you don't like talking to a microphone? Uh, maybe that's what it is. Beth, this could be the issue. I, you have one connected to your chest. I know, and I'm petrified right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. We did hear you crying in the bathroom. That's what it was. You I left your mic on. told you I wasn't using the restroom. I was just crying. <laughs> crying you a river. It was like a loud stream. We thought you were peeing. <laughs> it was just the tears. <laughs> it was just all <sighs> tears. <laughs> no, so I'm petrified of McDonald's drive throughs I get a pure case of scared, nervous, high anxiety. Like I need a pill for it. I don't understand. 
I don't know either. I've, I get my greatest joy from ordering things at McDonald's. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'll order the menu. <laughs> <laughs> but add three kids in the back seat and a wife next to you, who I must say does a great job of ordering for me because she has no choice. That's true. No, I, so I, she has four kids I clam right up. I clam up. I'll start ordering and then I'll just, she'll say, uh, the kids want a McDonald's Happy Meal with a hamburger and apples. And I'm going to order a margarita and a chicken <laughs> salad every time, every time. Can you imagine if McDonald's served booze? Why would we be here right now? We wouldn't. That's right. We'd be, did you see that they have a Little Mac now? Why would you not get the Big Mac? I'm just saying, like, if you were feeling a little Mackey, but you didn't have room for a big. Let's go big or go home. You do a little. Let's go big or go I'd home. I'd say that I, okay, I did order more than one, just, but I wanted to see what it looked like. <laughs> okay, because. Also, it's just a regular cheeseburger with Mac sauce. Yes. So people have been doing that for years. Exactly. And but I will tell you that when Landon fries. and I drove by and it said, come check out our new Big Mac lineup, we were like, what the front door? There's a lineup. Like, we were like, What? So is that why the sign's been at your house on the front lawn lately? It did. I took it out. I was like, give it to me. Because yeah. it was misleading. No, I thought it was to get the line up it, at your house. Listen, if I could get people to line up at my house, I wouldn't be here on a Friday. Well, they'd be here too. <laughs> Doubt it. <laughs> That's why I said we should offer free booze. Josh, could you get on that? Probably not. Okay, thanks. Mostly because he thinks it probably wouldn't help anyway. So that's also why he's sitting across the place tonight? <laughs> he's like, finally. And not right up here? I can get away from her. I can hide in the back. I like that. Yeah, you're not doing he a great job. He was very much, people were very much like, Josh needs to smile more, talk more, do this more, do that more. So as soon as he they don't know me very knew well. that we had Chris on, he didn't have to be behind the what camera. Means, as soon as we knew, I got Chris on. Yeah, we figured out your little ploy. <laughs> Work. Gets on our group chat. You guys, Chris says he wants to be on the show. I think tomorrow's great because he can't do it next weekend. And we're like, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. We'll, f you know. Chris texts me, what did I agree to? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> you signed up for this. He goes, no, Josh asked me. And I said, that's fine. And I was like, God damn it, Josh. You just made, didn't want to talk. He just wanted out of the limelight, which. No, because I really thought. Josh was going to have an aneurysm. Well, you made fun of his mustache. That's warranted. Look, True. It's even better this week. No, it's not better. That's what we're referring to as better? you the bottom half off, it's like you're just fresh pedo. <laughs> Sorry. Can we just have a silent, awkward stare? Boundary. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had a first smile. I was like, this first smile tastes like I'm going I'm to overstep some boundaries tonight. <laughs> Well, you just did. I did. He's still here, though, so keep You're going. welcome. He has to, because he's mic'd up and stuck to the computer. I was, too, and I still went but to the But he is room. logged in as me, so if any of you get any offensive messages, weed it out. It might be me, but it could also be Josh. <laughs> <laughs> They'd never know the difference. They really wouldn't. No. Probably not. No, but that will, until if one of them sends a nasty picture and Josh has to send one back. Then they'll be like, whoop, not Nicole. Confuse the hell out of them, though. Anyway, so I want to know stuff about you because everybody. Oh, Chris is such a nice guy. He's as well. I mean, we not the people that you had to arrest in like your previous. They, I, I still get hugs and handshakes from people I arrested. I do. People like when you cuff them. Well, not as much as probably you do with do the you eyebrows also, you're giving. You also whisper in their ear when you're doing, like, you're under arrest, big boy. By the way, those handcuffs from a few months ago, could I get them back anytime? No, because I put them on myself at night. It makes me feel secure. <laughs> I thought that's what the pill was for. <laughs> okay. Wow. Just curious how you get them back off. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yeah. Uh -huh. After the chloroform wears off, I'm usually out of them. I'm, so whatever happens, happens. That, that's a good point. That's a good point. So I don't know. I... Uh, I'm just, I like being silly. I feel like you're very much, I mean, not very much. We have a little bit in common. You're an open book. You don't really. Got nothing to hide. You really don't have any boundaries. No. Or shame, which I appreciate in another person. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I, I try to keep some shame. Tell us something about you that is like, what's a common misconception about you? Uh, people who really don't know me think I can be shy. Well, that's crazy. No, it's, it's foolish, actually. 
foolish. And you can, you can, I don't know, the police academy made it so you can turn the face on and off. Like, the happy face, and then the, it's got to be serious. Yeah, but can you? You can't even do, I feel like if you were doing that to me with your eyebrows, I'd be like, first of all, WWE, you are not the rock. I get those from my daughter. She does that to me when she wants something. She'll just go. <laughs> and then how could you not give it to a three-year-old, you know? She's so cute. There's a reason. You can't say no to her. No, not at no, all. No, you really can't. I Dude, I can't say no to her. There's a reason she's cute, though. Yeah, Beth. Well, no, I didn't mean physically. I just mean because oh, yeah. we would get rid of her if she wasn't. True. Yeah. As with all my kids. That's why all children are cute. That's why my brother was cute. Other than that, he would have been living with a family of pygmies. I'm pretty sure. I yeah. think the rest of your family would have kept you, Ryan. I highly doubt it because Jen had to... Speaking of Ryan and Jen. Rescue him. I hear that you have fallen in love with the feature of your sister-in-law. Uh, There's just something about her that you admire so much. It's, it's Jen. It's Jen. I mean, how could you not? You can't not So you're, you're referring to my character in the Lions show. Oh, is that what I'm doing? Fooded. Say it. Fooded. Your, your French is much better than it was an hour ago. Thanks. And it sucked an hour ago. <laughs> wow. First mile. First mile, we'll do that. Yeah. No, he's, he's kind of alter ego. That's where it comes out, is when I've got... Fooded? Fooded. Okay. It's like What does super fooded crazy. have in common with your sister-in-law, though? The laugh. The laugh? Yeah. Do it. Show I, us. I don't know if I can just do it on cue, though. Just get into... Like, me, 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 me. Everything's going to be about you, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Can't you? No. Well, see, first of all, you got to know, he's, he's dressed in a one-piece red long johns with a wig, a belt, kind of like your onesie or whatever that is. You leave my romper out. Romper. Romper. That's what we're going to call Food Ed's outfit from now on. <laughs> a romper. You're welcome. And when he makes a joke, it's usually followed up by a version of my sister-in-law's laugh. I want to hear it. The loud version? Or do you want to just know what it is first? No, I just want you to hit us. <laughs> <laughs> I actually felt like she was here for a minute. I really did. Yeah. That scared the hell out of me, but I loved it. But the thing is, is she gets louder, <laughs> so my character became louder, which at the show is great. I mean, it's... You know why I've never seen a Lions show? So I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it was great to have you here. No, and It was great until I heard blame? that. I blame Roy. Roy Bernard again? He's not Roy even here. Roy Bernard, I know. What was he supposed to do? Make you tickets? Listen, here's what happened. Last year was the year of the show. Was the year you had it. And he was like, Yeah, I've got tickets. Let me know if you and I was like, save me too. Me and my other personality are gonna go together. I was gonna say, that's where you lost you. him. He knew that there was, <laughs> he was not like, a she's two. Joking. She can't get a date. <laughs> uh and then uh he didn't. You missed out on the coolest thing ever. I know. I'm so bummed. So instead I went I worked by myself because everyone was at the show. I was gonna say nobody would. would nobody have been went in. There. I poured my own beers. Yeah, 450 people were at that show, and I know. Not 451. I could have been the one. You would have been the one. It's like a vote. Yep. But I'm very excited. So you don't do that every year, though. For the no. people who don't know what the Lions Show is, tell us about it. It's a collaboration of our club. Uh, we're 127 members. We usually get 60 members in the club to put this show on. It's it's a skit slash variety show that has been going on since it does revival in the 80 or 81 it does play a lot with tradition oh big time and on purpose yeah well i think that's a lot of the reason obviously it's going to be funny and it most oh, yeah. inappropriate but i think in this community especially tradition it's key is key like if you went if you strayed from that i think the response would be very different not that it would be bad but it would be no. very different it would be you know, and it's, uh, it's been the same. I mean, Mark Chassis interlocuted it forever, which is, was his <laughs> term for, for the MC, yeah. interlocutor. And he did that forever. And then now we've had the grace of God bestowed upon us by having Steph Gagne do it, which oh is... God, I love him. How could you not? I know. And he does a phenomenal job. Remember that coming up next year. His uh, wife is smoking hot. He's a lucky man. He is. Yep. Great personality, great wife. And so, yeah, it's just a skit show we pull off. Uh, I think the intro basically goes, 
if we haven't insulted you yet, hang on, we're getting there. Because uh, everybody's fair game. And that's what people like. That's you know? how I feel about this show. Funny is funny. That's right. No PC. I mean, we're PC, but... If you're going to get made fun of, it, that's your fault. Right. You've already talked about the rainbows outside my house, so I guess it's fair game. I mean, you put it on a pole outside your house. That won't happen and again. I learned in, in <laughs> Hard Knocks, you can't do things on a pole outside your house and have people not notice. That's why you have a black casting coach. According to Wayne Reynolds. I had that couch removed. No, you have them now. That's just, okay. You're sitting on one now. You I thought what? it was just uh, so people could see. Move along, Wayne. Move along. I thought it was just I so it would bring out tell. my face. So, so my friends, obviously, my friends from Portland are watching right now, and I told my BFF Sam, like, watch the show, do whatever you want. Don't say anything too gross because right. our bosses are watching, and I don't want to get fired. From anything. No, I so really like my job. So he probably will just block himself for coming on here. Yeah, no, no. My, I, I like my job come Monday morning. So. Very much so. Yeah. I, so my friend Sam, I texted, because Cinco de Mayo just passed, and last year at Cinco de Mayo, I was in Mexico, having the time of my life. Drinking a Corona. Oh, not, no. Our waiter's name was Pascual, and every time he saw us, he would just run over like, like with a tray of tequila, and I was like, "No, I can't do that." And later that day, I was like, r like running because they started the music and they started the Cinco de Mayo party at the pool, and I went to run to get to it, and I slipped at the top of the way to get down to the pool, and I just, <laughs> I legit broke all the toes on my left foot. So Sam had to basically just like let me lean against him for a long time and everybody thought I was disabled but I, I kind of was but after a few more yeah. of my Pascual tequilas I could not tell are you just having a hard time pronouncing Pascal but no that's how he said to say it because we were I that's why I'm like Pascal no Pascual so he had a hard time pronouncing his own he name. had a hard time yeah and I didn't want to insult him by telling him how to say his own name it happens I mean I get it every day <laughs> you know ah, <laughs> that's because exactly. they're not saying your name no it's because there's a K so they automatically <laughs> like Chris with a K, who does that? Uh, it would be me. It's like when you spell hair. They want our attention. Is that necessary? That terrified me. Made my bra move. Ooh. It's your onesie. <laughs> it's, Can we this call it a onesie? onesie is no joke because I picked a wedgie a while ago well, and my top came down. Yeah. <laughs> Just the whole thing, it's like one really big thing of floss. It's a big teeter daughter. Like one end and the <laughs> other. Yeah. I'm uncomfortable. So I am right at this I moment to too. I was base with myself. I didn't even mean to. <laughs> no, I'll go go to the bathroom and. Woo! <laughs> go me. <laughs> wow. We didn't even buy dinner yet. No. That's usually how it goes, though. Like, let's just cut to it because I could eat right. all night. <laughs> <laughs> your poor mother. I just want to know where we're going with this. Yeah, your poor like, mother. Do I want to eat this chili steak or not? <laughs> and you do. <laughs> with the peppers. Well, yes, of course. I'm just kidding. So I have come up with a topic called Chris Cross. And I want to know all the dumb shit that makes you mad. It can't be stuff like, oh, when people don't respect their elders. No. That like, was the first one. Like dumb stuff like I can't, I can't handle when girls have chipped nail polish. Don't talk to me if you have chipped nail polish. I just automatically assume you do meth. And I'm not friends with you. No, that was like yeah. fourth on my list probably, but. Or when people don't check their notifications and they just leave them on their phone. See, that would be me because Beth looked at my phone. I had her check a message last night from Josh and there was 400 there. So she said, why? I would divorce Why you. not? I would divorce you. I would straight up leave you and that would yep. be in the papers to be like, we can't, no. Squeezing a tube of toothpaste from the middle. So every five-year-old. Right. Why do they do it so hard? Oh, my God, yes. So it just clumps there. Yeah, you get the hard clump. But to be honest, I'd rather than not cleaning off the top because I've seen them do that. And, like, they literally slather their toothbrush around the top. And I've seen what's in their mouth. That's true. No, I did. Did you see the video that went around like since COVID, like quarantine with kids, and then 
this grown ass woman is brushing her teeth and then she full on just spits on the mirror. Every day at our house. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Half the time it's me, but yeah. My four year old can't even get up to the sink. How does she get to the top of the mirror? I will never understand. But it's, it's good distance. true what they do with that. Yeah. So my friend Bree and I have started what we call the hate list. And People are things. It's all inclusive. Perfect. It's like a resort. <laughs> oh, great. Because <laughs> there's endless alcohol where both of us live. Uh, and we can say and do whatever we want because it's adults only. So. Like that Christmas party I'm going to this winter. You guys. Okay. So let, let's break this down wh how we got here. <laughs> I had to. Because Sorry. I knew, I was like, oh, I feel bad that Chris is going to. But you know what? If you dance up like, uh, dance up. If you dress up like your, uh, who is it? Auntie Birdie? Grandma Birdie? Who are you? What's Who's your, Grandma Birdie? What's your Lions Club character? So we're going to go into, with the walkers. we're going to go into French mode again. Well, no, I was going to say you could come as her. What's her name? Grandma Birdie. Say my name. <laughs> Okay, Beyonce, I don't know. Obviously, I'm grasping at straws here. Tant Rose. Ta oh. But it's Tant Rose. Nobody would have. Tant Rose. Okay. Well, you're not so we were talking about girls, so you can dress up as her and come. So this Christmas party that Chris is talking about, this whole thing started because today it was snowing. And actually, our Real beloved down. Matt Colin said, <sighs> you should put that in your show. Because I was talking about how it was snowing, and I should go get my Christmas tree out. And that's what prompted me to want to make this a Chris Miss show. That's right. So we were talking about this, whatever. And I, before the show started, I text Chris and I was like, do you want to dress up like Christmas with me? I have a really insane shirt that you can wear. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. I said, I'm just probably going to wear my onesie from my, my Christmas party that I have called Bitch Miss. And he was like, okay, go back. Let's, let's talk about this for a minute. So for everyone who doesn't know, and all my girlfriends are now are like, yeah, because it's the best. Yeah, because they know I'm going now. So let's take a break and we can talk about bitchness after. But ah! before we take a break, Chris. Josh. You're the one that spits on the mirror. <laughs> I love you, Beth. That, that's an exact quote. Uh, and let's see here. Some things I won't deny, okay? And Nicole, Megan says you're a liar because her nails are chipped all the time. And I literally always tell you to clean that shit up. But you also said she does math if they... That's well, the she, does, uh, she doesn't do math, but like 9 out of 10. Okay, when we come back from break, we're going to talk about bitch miss. Hi, I'm Jensen Snyder. I'm a 14-year-old singer-songwriter. And I'm sending this song out to St. John Valley Live from Waterloo, Indiana. And this is Waymaker. Hope y'all enjoy this. Place. I worship 
This song is going out to St. John Valley Live from Herman, Maine, time after time. Welcome back to No Nonsense, where tonight is all goddamn nonsense. Complete nonsense. <laughs> Complete nonsense. So before we went to break, we were talking about bitchness. Yes. And where I feel I'm like going. we got a lot of responses like, what the hell is she talking about? Every Christmas, I throw a Christmas party for just the girls. Well, the bitches. It's called Bitchmas. It's uh, invite only. And you have to come to my house dressed in Christmas attire. If you are not dressed in Christmas gear, you are mercilessly roasted. That's after I've had whatever I have left of a filter and just... Tequila it out the window. 
straight up, just over that border and yeah. just went home. Um, but last year I didn't make it past 10 o'clock, so everybody that came to my, my bitchness party rallied on without me, um, and they took down all the decorations at my house <laughs> and hid them from me. So when I woke up in the morning, it was basically it was, just like a numerous. fireball campaign in my living room. Yeah. But... On the flip side, they also left there because we have like we play a bunch of games. There's a bunch of prizes. Listen, if you're friends with Andrea, you want to invite her to parties because I'm like, oh, there's like a fifteen dollar limit, and she's like, no probs, goes to Pottery Barn. Everyone's like, we want Andrea's present. <laughs> I usually go to Tractor and they supply. always leave it because after you know I get everybody liquored up, they leave their stuff. I get to keep it. It's nice, uh, except Lynn has left her crock pot at my house for three years. I've had it every bitchness. It never leaves. So you're it's, using it, right? It's coming back. No, because I forget it. I put it on the top of my porch. Way to go. A por my porch. Fridge. <laughs> See. What Why did I say porch? The top of my porch. That's my roof. That's the top of my What kind of my ghetto house. are you living in now? <laughs> I just store stuff on the like porch. dressing up the trailer. Like Obviously. A, I'm eventually going to get rezoned. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Put the kids out in the RV. <laughs> yeah, oh, I wish. A little National Lampoon's moment here. So that was my pre-commercial. No, that's good. And I'd wanted to mention it earlier too. But wasn't there a time when, like, did like somebody move your car one time, like Travis Duval? Did he tell you to say that? I, I don't even really know Travis. First of all, you're. I'm glad you don't really know Travis. I've met him once. He's a day when I go to work. <laughs> yeah. I was working at DHS at the time, and it's when we moved on to Market Street, so I went one morning to, I don't know, get coffee, treats, whatever, and I saw Travis, and I walked in, and I don't even remember what name I called him that morning, because it's never usually the same. I'm just as surprised by him, <laughs> what comes flying out of my face. So I made fun of him, and I was like, oh, you know, this and that, we're going back and forth, and we're just back, and he's like, oh, yeah, good to see you, Nicole. That fucker <laughs> went. Paid for his stuff, left the store before me, moved my car across the parking lot, and I could not find it. And he had gone back in his car, moved, so he was just watching me like a predator, trying to find my car. And I was laughing because I knew he had something to do with it, but also he was really good at Well, the expression must have been great. No, I was dying. I feel like it was like a clammy day, so it was kind of, I don't remember it being like a beautiful day, so it was also paired with... I have way too much Aquanet in my hair right now to be dealing with this. Yeah, I think he was proud. He was proud. He's talked about that forever. If I would know him, and I've met him. Yeah. Did you have the bagger with you, or? No. You were just by yourself? It was just me wandering around. It would have been, been better with the bagger <laughs> following you behind. So you where know, was where was Travis? He was in his car watching me from across the parking lot. But I have done that, though. When I worked at Shop and Save, I was a bagger, and I had to follow someone who obviously didn't know at the time, but he was like lo legitimately losing his memory. And so he forgot where he parked and we walked around the whole parking lot. And I know you won't believe this, but I used to be skinny. And the cart like started rolling down the parking lot and it was taking me with it because I had leaned back just far enough and it was like going and I'm like, wow, I'm trying to stop it. You're lying, you were riding it. No, I swear to God. Wink, no. And so we went around the parking lot like four or five times before he, I was like, well, do you have like your keys so you can set the alarm off? When I, I'm not joking, we were standing in front of it. The fucking car went off. We both almost had a heart attack. He almost died right there in the parking lot. And I thought, I can't do this anymore. I can't. Can you do CPR? Nope. Then yes, don't do it anymore. <laughs> Please. Please. No, I did have to go to CPR training when I first... Got the job I'm in now, though, and that was a requirement. So you went to, can I bring up Jen one more time? You can do whatever you want. This is half your show today. So my brother is, he's not all there. It's, it's a known fact. God bless him. I, yeah, it's genetics. And so <laughs> he, uh, he had a pretty bad accident where his face was <clears throat> blown up and he needed massive surgery and all that. Did he end up looking like you? Because that would be super sad. After the operation, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. Some people just don't have any luck. No, no. <laughs> That's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pasty whiteness myself. So we were in Bangor and he had just left the hospital, which is a great story in itself because 
when he gets a little bit of any antibiotic or, and yes, I know antibiotics aren't narcotics. He doesn't need narcotics. <laughs> he turned into E.T. <laughs> yes. You know, he's laying in, we're in Bangor and we're all, all crying. And, and then there's Rye in the ER, rushed down by ambulance and E.T. from home. And we're like, stop it. you were just dying. Your face is wide open. Would you stop? So anyways, once he's all better and he spent the night in the maternity ward, not a joke. <laughs> Whatsoever. Why? Because they didn't want him anywhere else. <laughs> but true story. The nurses there are forgiving. <laughs> yes, exactly. They put up with worse. Ladies shit on the bed in here. We can Much take rye. We can I'm take jealous. rye. So we get to Denny's and uh, naturally, because that's where grieving people go. Well, this was this was Same either case. time one or two. Okay. Because oh. one of the times we actually went to Olive Garden and left him in the pickup. <laughs> I'm not joking. When my dad had a heart attack and we came back from Bangor, we stopped at Olive Garden before coming home. We're like, Dad, you good? We're going to get some Alfredo. Well, thing is with Rye, he was on meds still, so we actually locked him in without the keys. <laughs> and it was November 30. So anyway, but we went to Denny's and talking about your CPR and how you don't do it, neither does Jen. Oh, no. No, because we're in the corner. and <laughs> She's dying right now. She's like, I'm an art man. No, she, she, believe me, she doesn't work on the floor. I'm sure she'll say it so she doesn't have to do this stuff. But this guy drops right on the floor at the mouth of Denny's. She finished her egg. <laughs> <laughs> so we were... You know what, though? If I knew how to do CPR and I had been waiting for my food, too, I would have assessed the situation. Like, how serious is this versus how long do... Like, what time how do I How much have? could she have assessed it from the face of her Grand Slam breakfast? I mean, I know, it that's wasn't a pretty spectacular breakfast. It was, it was. So, but I've often told people if they need mouth to mouth, they're gonna die. Don't ask Jen. Well, noted. Yep. Or Nicole. But let's just yep. start a list. Also, if I was dying and you were my only CPR option, I would say put you on the list. I'm, you wouldn't save me. I'll meet my maker. Thanks. Who's gonna pull on the show? <laughs> if we're both gone. Because <laughs> I'm taking you with me. <laughs> that, is yeah, it. Coming. That is it. So yeah. So we do have Mother's Day this weekend. Right. And in honor of Mother's Day, we are going to open up the phone lines. We want to hear your favorite stories about your mothers or if you want to ask us something about parenting or have a story related to one of our families. I got four kids, so I got parenting down packed. Said no one ever. No, you just know how to make them. You're just fertile. Oh, yeah. Don't sit next to me at church. I don't. No. That's why I put you on a separate couch. You go to church? No. Okay. I was kicked out. Oh. They're oh. like, we can't rebuild after any more fires. Like, there's not enough wood left. Just yeah. No, no. Coming. No. The lightning rods just weren't tall enough. No, they weren't. No. I actually don't even have to go to confession anymore. They're like, there's, you don't get frequent flyer miles. That's exactly. You started to wear a frequent. You started to wear out poor father, uh, <laughs> father Labrie's leather. Like you had to change it out a couple of times. It was, it was like road rash, just right. coming in hot. <laughs> Clear the afternoon. It's Nicole. <laughs> yes. Every 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 Friday afternoon, like oh, no, just let it be. Yeah, between the hours of one and eight at night. Listen, is anybody serving water in this place? By the way, Josh, does, do people serve here anymore? Yeah, I think that's... Well, I would love, over there. love a water. Well, I say that, I'm parched. So during the break, I'm not going to lie, I was like, I need to loosen up, and there was these jello shots. Don't be fooled. Yeah. No, this is also a restaurant, and they store their soy sauce in there. So, yeah. Well, if your jello shot is ever brown, that's an indication. They make jello shots out of everything I now. I drink it. No, I thought it was like some pumpkin season thing for the spring. No, it wasn't. No. Josh, they're still not coming with that water. Interesting. Probably because we like seeing you suffer. Uh-oh. I know. You know what? I went to Bangor once with my mom, and we went to Kobe to have sushi. Love Kobe. And my mom, I was like, do you want a glass of wine? Do you want a drink? I'm going to get some sake. And she was like, oh, I don't know who, whatever. So anyways. Is that they, call in? It's your mother, probably. Oh, go ahead. Hey, you're on with Nico. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. This is uh, this is Chris's favorite brother. Hello, Chris. Hey, Fred. Favorite. What's going on? <laughs> oh, the adopted one. <laughs> I was hoping for Ryan. <laughs> he is uh, he is an 
available right now. <laughs> yeah. This is also Ryan, who I just got a text saying you're getting a pedicure at the moment. So watch what you say. I, I was oh, getting yeah. a pedicure. And I have the picture to prove it. I was getting a pedicure. So wait until your daughter is a little bit older <clears throat> and you will be getting pedicures and enjoying it. I just assumed you were a diabetic. That's why we get pedicures? That oh. was actually my, my real excuse. <laughs> and, and I was kind of killing two birds at once. So. Hey, there you go. I didn't know you were finally allowed to so, use a telephone again. I'm downstairs in the basement. My wife doesn't know I'm on the phone. Right. And I feel like I'm on top of the world right now. <laughs> Yo, that's, yeah, that's how Chris feels after his soy sauce shot. Yeah, try a soy sauce shot. Let me know. Keep What's on in, top of the world right now is his cholesterol. Yep. His, oh, yeah. Keep him into the monitor is like, poof. Yep. <laughs> After well, was- I had a six-wing uh, lunch from Crossing today, and I washed it down with a small pepperoni mushroom pizza. So I can I can attest to the the whole yeah sodium thing. It's great. Yeah. yeah. So do you have a funny Chris story or a funny mom story for you that involves you and Chris? Probably any story I would tell you would 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 classify as um, as a funny mom story. So I've got one. The funniest like mom story that I could think of right off hand is like when my mother had Chris, they <laughs> burst out like, I think this is a joke. And, and, and that, that's, that's probably the first one that comes to mind. <laughs> so if that oh, one, Chris, oh, look at yeah, you in the look, little pink yeah, dress. No, yeah, and, and easily mistaken because <laughs> I was also wearing some grown man's jean vest in the background. I want to know with a why Ryan's hands are so big. Rye, yeah. Why? Do you have elephantitis? Well, not just that. He's got six foot long arms. Why did we never know this? Is that photoshopped? It's not photoshopped. No. Did your hands grow to cover your knees? Why are we talking <laughs> about, why, why are we talking about elephantitis? I find it's quite personal. Well, first and, of all, yeah. the elephantitis I've heard only Very. stops at your hands, so let's go there. But uh, anyway, yeah, so no, that's, that is an old picture. Um, Chris, that, you look like you were stung by a bee. Nope, it's just my pasty white. You know I'm the one in the back on the left, right? Yeah, no, I get it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I officially have gray I hair now. I can't anything either. I look like a swollen thumb, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so no, uh, this was my grandmother who would basically tie us up, drive us to town in her single cab Chevy pickup. Your water, sir. So I'm we could... Sorry. Did you ask for the water? Christopher, let me serve you some water. That's good. It only made 20 minutes. Thanks. Yeah. That's the service you get here. Thank you. Yep. Top notch. So, yeah. So, uh, but I got a good Ryan story. Speaking of mothers. Hit us. So, um, Ryan, you remember that time where you called me at 2 in the morning? See, either he's... Hi. (laughs) Probably. (laughs) So, there he is. Yeah. so there's big brothers, but then there's that, that I guess, yeah. fatherly, motherly love that we got to give to Rye. So at two in the morning, Beth and I were sleeping quite comfortably. It was 1.30. And it was 1.30. American? It was American time. <laughs> and my phone rang. Now, that could be several reasons. Usually it's an emergency because that's what people do when... Shut your phone. You're, you're delayed. Things are bad. And, well, you're the only one on the phone right now, Rye, just so you know. Um, no, no, Jen was, Jen's, the phone is delayed and she's, she's not hearing me. To be good. Well, we're, we're, not, we're not listening to you anymore, so you just listen. Okay, go. So my phone rings and I answer it and okay. I answer like I'm awake. Hello. He says, you've got to get over here right now. I said, well, what's the matter? He says, we were just struck by lightning. <laughs> what? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> so. <laughs> I did. His. Story went on to say that he, he grabbed his wife and kids, ran them to the basement, and they were hiding in the spare room behind or under the bed <laughs> because his house was struck by lightning, and I needed to get over there right now. Are you afraid of lightning too, Ryan? He's a 30-year-old man. I don't care. Well, you're not. You don't understand. It was extremely, it was extremely close. It was, it was I'm, I'm pretty sure I got hit. No, I'm with you. I'm not judging because... At my office, they make fun of me, but I have to sit near the window. And whenever there's lightning, I'm like, I'm, I'm out of here. Screw you guys. I'm not playing this game. And 
I actually, they, they laugh at me, but Roy plays Journey for me to keep me calm. But I won't answer the phones because it did come through. It hit the ground and it came through and struck me in the ear through the phone. And I won't do it. Ryan, I have to ask, ask you this question. Well, I feel very, when I feel very, very connected to you because I feel because we're we're both survivors of lightning we're survivors strike. of lightning storms. And I have to ask you a something question. Something that not everyone can say. When it is lightning out, do you or any are do you allow any of your family members to like take a bath or a shower during a lightning? Since my since my electrocution, I actually I actually become electric. I feel like I feel like Just, my whole body pulses. It's and your if personality. I, if I was to walk here and out, I could actually charge it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a human rod. It's it's a really it's a it's a really wow. It's a it's a, it's a really it's a, it's it's hard for me to talk about. It. I'm getting emotional. I can, I can feel that from you. I appreciate your raw honesty I don't know. It's, and vulnerability. So, it's hard for us to listen to. I'll it's acknowledge that hard. as well. Yeah. It's hard to stomach. It is. It is. Well, needless to say, after he called, I, I believe I told him to shut up. <laughs> to let your children go back to bed because you woke them up for no apparent reason. And I'm sure there was an apology to Jen in there. <sighs> Jen, we're sorry. Sorry. But we appreciate oh. your call, Ryan. But she's 20 years strong right now. That is a crazy long time. It is. There, there must be a program like AA for it. Yeah. She's a sucker for well, puppies. she's a giver. Well, she is. The, the, the thing is, is that the thing, the thing is, is she was so mad at me for waking them up because they didn't actually get hit by the same lightning bolt I did. <laughs> That's because it was and in your dream. I was, you know, I thought I was protecting my family. <laughs> yeah. But I was actually aggravating them quite a bit. I went back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Right, tell Jen we love her, okay? Please. I'll let her know. Well, she's listening to us live, so you can just not talk to her the rest of the night, like was normal planned. <laughs> Thank you for calling, Ryan. I have to go back in the basement. Yeah, go in the basement now. Bye-bye okay. now. So what, when you yep. think of Mother's Day for you and Beth, like what's the best Mother's Day that you've given to your wife? That is not the truth at all. I said the best. I thought it was, but... No, it wasn't. We established at the beginning of the call. It's true. Because I spit on the windshield. <laughs> I mean, on the uh, glass. Whoa! <laughs> that was a whole different Mother's you know how Day. how one went. Yeah. Yeah. It's two and a half, but whatever. We were young. <laughs> young and you're still dumb. Very. We've been, <laughs> we've been together since high school. Sweethearts. I'll stop now. Yeah. Yeah. I actually remember when you guys were getting married because Beth and I were in the same class at university. And I don't remember what the class was, but we sat near each other and we talked about your flowers. I remember we talked about the flowers you're going to have at your wedding for a long time. Dandelions. Yes. Yeah, because everyone thought she was crazy for it. The pictures are awesome. I mean, they were free. <laughs> and you've met me, obviously. Just Yeah, you're broke. Well, I'm cheap. I'm frugal. Sorry. I'm cheap. Cheap. Cheap, yeah. Well, I knew that. Yeah, very cheap. I knew that. But best Mother's Day ever. See what I did there? Best Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Best. That was not on purpose either. I just stuttered a little. Um, oh, good Lord. Oh, mercy. Does this happen all the time? You're on with Nico. Oh. Why is there a straw? You're on with Nico. All right, Chris, your favorite brother-in-law your favorite is this noah so I, I want to talk about stairs with you staircases with me thanks the other thing i'm so my brother's petrified this is noah terrio by the way he uh, officially just moved down to bangor yeah oh are you on drugs not anymore oh, no okay. no he's he's taking care of uh, jeans electronics store down there oh there you go okay yeah and uh, you're welcome, Darnell and Stephanie. County represent. That's right. So I can't do stairs. Actually, Josh probably witnessed it when we went out to get uh, some food in my pickup earlier. I actually missed the first step in this Can't building. Can't or won't do stairs? Are you like an old dog? No, I, I can do stairs. I just can't do stairs. Like RA? Like I fall. Like a, 
But most people, which direction do they fall? Up then. We what? Most people fall downstairs. <laughs> I can't go up. You fall upstairs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like right now, Jordan is laughing right now because at least once a day I fall going up the stairs and I'll just sit there. Yep. Wounded puppy look. Nobody comes to help. I would wound you if you were a puppy. <laughs> yep. It's happened. Okay. So, yeah, Noah's witnessed many, many, many. So many. Who's calling in to dog you out right now? Literally. So you can't climb stairs? I can't climb stairs. Old dog, new trick. So you asked? Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was a pretty affirmative. That, that was, thanks, Noah. Noah, it's almost like you're here with us, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should we talk about your canoe in the pond, too? People don't like you. <laughs> so, I have a pond in our front lawn. Like a legit <laughs> pond. It's a fish pond. And it's, I don't know, 60 by 60 or something. And, and one day I decided to go for a ride in it, in a canoe and a motor. And no ballast on the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was great. I did four or five trips around and it, it was great. Beth had just got done filming me because... She, she was knows, sending it to the police. She was, well, DHS because she knew I needed help. And yeah, getting I wasn't going to say it. I am not afraid. <laughs> And as they soon cleared as, me. As soon as she turned her back, in the water. <laughs> canoe, canoe kept going. Yep. Noah, you're not getting a Christmas present, by the way. We're getting caller ID because of you now. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Well. Thank you for calling, Noah. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm done. Okay. I'm done bothering you. You're very done. We're have happy a good to evening. Have you. Enjoy Bangor. We miss you. I just. So yeah, so we, I, I don't do stairs, I stay out of canoes, and... drive throughs drive throughs I, could you imagine me in a canoe on a drive through going through a drive through No. No. Because it's a drive through not a canoe through Oh, Jesus. If this is Jesus, we got a problem. Let's take another call. You're on with Nico. Hello? Is anyone there? Fucking tell them Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, St. John Valley. This is Eric Warnton from Wake Up SJ. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Coach. So Eric has a delay in his phone. I th are you in a different time zone? Are you still doing the 20 minutes of silence? You're supposed to do that before you call. <laughs> I must be on a uh, delay here because I'm, I'm watching. Watching your Facebook Live, and must be a delay. Yeah, there is a delay. Just go with it. Awesome. Am, am I live on air? Yeah, you're still live because we're still not pre recorded. Yep, you're, everyone hears you loud and clear. Kind of. You're cutting well, out bad. Well, you're live, <laughs> not necessarily clear. Awesome. What's up, Eric? Anybody shooting pole out back? Nope, we're just trying Anybody to... Anybody shooting pull out back? Nope, hard no. May 18, May 18. <laughs> also, I would be super pissed if somebody was like, hold one, while we're trying to make jokes. I'd be like, you shut the hell up. Do you, know, do you know what the game of pool involves? Don't you make it, don't you shoot... Oh, I said a hole in one, right? You, you do. It's got zero to do with golf. I will own that. That was my bad. <laughs> and if anybody's standing on the table with a golf club, I want them here I now. That hasn't happened here. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was me too. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I am who I am. Yep. I forgot that hole in one has nothing to do with pool. I was being dead ass. Like, I really thought that I was being. Witty. I've never seen you so serious, actually. That's sad. I think we lost Eric. Have you he seen was his, like, she's dumb. Have you seen that. his morning show? He does a morning show now. I know. Compotation. Wake up with SJV. Yeah. I actually really I think that's a really good idea. And they do a 20 minute. I'm looking oh. for some. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to call him in. Hello. First. Do you have like an interpreter? Or he's drowning. Somebody's making bacon. I'm looking for some interviews next week. Who, who's up early in the morning? I'm looking for some. Oh, he's looking interviews. for interviewers. He he's looking for people, people to interview early in the morning. Josh Nichols is raising his hand at the back. I know he he's... actually Josh has both hands up. It's actually hard to see from here, but. All right, Josh. Seven ten. Hmm. Seven ten. 
Monday morning, Josh, 7.10. Oh, that's All a right. great day to be up at 7. I'm up at 7. What time do you go to work? Me? Yes. I'm at work for 7. Really? Every day? On purpose? Not since quarantine. No. I mean... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Not since quarantine. No, I don't. I really like going to work early. Me I actually too. prefer it. And my sitter, she prefers it. Except during she, quarantine. She because she wants your kids that early. My sitter is my mother during quarantine, and she's she prefers to start her day later. But she would work like until the week, like oh, she. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, so I thought he was gone. Sorry, Eric. We could not hear you at all, dude. I didn't think you. I didn't know you were still on. We but love him. We still we, love him. And we gave him a plug for his show. Yes. Uh, SGV, or Wake Up SGV with Eric working in the mornings. And he's actually really good about having guests. Did a great job. Uh, Fantastic job. And I really, you know what I really like? That he does the Pledge of Allegiance. Every morning. We I do it with him. I did not realize, is that being done in school still? Yes. I didn't think it was. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. I'm actually very happy to hear yeah, that. We do it with the kids. We even got three-year-old Madeline doing it in the mornings. My mother it. does that. So my mom takes them, my humans, so that I can still go to the office once or twice a week. And they drew out a flag. And they say the Pledge of Allegiance, and she got them doing... Uh, that's what I really like. Uh, excuse you, sir. If they... Uh, Do you have somewhere else to be? Nope. Somebody was going to have me pick on you, but I'm holding oh, back right now. Is it Chad? Which Chad? Pelletier. No. How many damn chads you know that want to make fun of me? I don't know. Wow, you get a complex, don't you? I just have multiple personality disorder, and I'm trying not to get. And all obviously, of us. they've all dated a chad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to get all of us mad right now. Is what I'm trying to do. You're doing well. You're doing very well. I was trying to think of my favorite Catherine or Mama J story, but really, the the one that I can come down to, like if if anyone really like describe your mother us like what would really embody Mama J. So one of the times, I think this is when I fell off the porch. Do you remember? I don't know, like 10 years ago, a second story porch the fell Charette off the Hill building. For, the the Charette yes, Hill porch. I was on the Shred Hill porch that fell. I was working in my cruiser. I heard, I heard it. That. Okay, so that, I was on that porch. That's why it fell? Listen. That was rude. I was much no, lighter. No, I'm at asking. The time. I was I was much lighter at the time. Okay. But I do remember walking out onto the porch, and I said to Dan, this guy Danny from Soldier Pond, I was like, Danny, if this porch goes, you're breaking my fall. And I swear to God, like 30 seconds later, we were going, and it was all in slow motion, like a turnaround. And I was like, no. And I had my brandy, and it was like my cup, and then my ice. And I could see the milk and the brandy, and the straw, and everything like separated. And I turned, and I saw Carmen. Everybody remembers Carmen that lived in Fort Kent. She had fallen over, and I just heard, hola. She was going back, and I could see her fingernails. And then her boyfriend, I think he had a mullet. He was like looking over the side, because he was little, and he wasn't in any danger. And every, we all went flying. We all hit the ground, and the ambulance comes, and everybody's looking, you know, like, oh, God. So they took us in anyways, because I hurt my legs. So when we get there, I said, you guys need to, or they're like, well, we need to call your parents, whatever. And I said, listen, my mom is not your average, hey, we have your daughter in the hospital call. There are steps you need to take when you call my mother's house. This is before cell phones. This is before you could prep your parents for a call they're about to get. What time of day was this? Time of day. Yeah. It's about 10 30 at night. No. 9 30. Probably, probably closer to the Lord's Day. Um, this happened on Christmas? It was late. It was, this, first of all, this day is Sunday. So it was late Saturday night. And I remember telling the nurse, listen, when you call, my mom's going to answer because she's the lightest sleeper. You need to A, introduce yourself. B, follow it with, Nicole didn't do anything wrong, then tell her whether or not I'm okay. Because I can guarantee you she doesn't fucking care if I'm all right. She wants to know if I did it and if I'm in trouble. So she was like, ha, ha, ha. She 
came back a few minutes later and she looked like she like she was nervous and I was like you didn't follow the she script. didn't follow the rules and she said no I thought you were joking and I was like why would I joke why would I joke about that at a time like this why would I do that and then I have duty looking over me and I was like she didn't follow the rules so what happens when you don't follow the rules and you go underage drinking you fall off houses and stuff so then anyways they all came down and she was like arguing with the doctors because they she wanted to come see me and they're like well you gotta wait we gotta check her out and she was like why and I was like ma don't worry about it like she's like are you are you hiding a tattoo my mom like legit bolted through these emergency specialist people nurses doctors R like trying to rip the blanket off me because she thought that the reason I was like no mom stop like was because I was hiding a tattoo I had gotten and I was like younger and this is before I had any and I was like no I just had some like I just didn't want her to see the underwear I bought and I swear, and I was kept telling the doctors, I'm like, you don't need to restrain her or blue paper her. She She's loves me. <laughs> she cares. This is out of love. She cares. And, and you know what? If you were to ask her about it, she'd be like, I am who I am. Mm -mm -mm. But really, nobody would ask her because they, they would absolutely. No, we get it. We get it. We, we just who she is. Yeah. Oh, we Your get mom it. is not as aggressive. Well, she's a nurse, so she has to actually take care of people. Yeah, that's true. Yes. It's frowned upon if you beat people up as a nurse. I love your mom. She was there for me when I had Everly, and I really thought I was going to die. She was like, don't worry about her shy. You were at the right place. She said, man, I was, I was like, hey. It was the Epidur best Epidural was hitting in. ever had. Epidural, yes, no? Yeah, except the last thing I remember is the guy being says, saying something about turbo, and then the next thing I know, I can't clear my own throat. And then my room was full of people, and I was like, <laughs> This is what I sound like in my head, <sighs> trying, to <clear. laughs> trying to clear my throat, and I couldn't. And then I was like, I'm nervous. And then I would pass out. I was like a cadaver. Yep. Just like, boop. And I'd come back up, and she's like, you're doing great. And I was like, I don't remember doing anything, except I just died. And she's like, yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, I saw the light. Holding my hand. She's a gem. That's, what, uh, that's why you become a nurse. You to care. watch people like me flail around like a fish out of water. Yeah. That's why I became a cop, because you see the craziness. We'll get to that in another episode. Yeah, we have documents you have to sign first. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you have waivers. You need to check your... Yeah, I got to make sure that nothing comes back to haunt me later. Yeah, that you could still have to testify against. So what are your kids uh, doing for you for uh, Mama's Day? Um, usually they're so sweet. Um, they do nothing. They stay at Mom's, don't but they? But it's like... But it's like extra nothing, you know what I mean? Like there's like extra sparkle on the needs. Um, everything is put like through a microphone. <laughs> right. It's like instead of just like mom, it's like mom. And yeah. It just feels really good. Yeah, it's just like every day. It's like every single day, 24 yeah. hours. Well, it's like we were saying the other day how our, our teachers are all liars where they, oh, your kids are so good. No. No, they're good for you. No, we've had them home and we've been teaching them. and They're not good. No. They're not even like... No, you know what? I will nothing. tell you this. I text... So either my children... My son's teacher, she's a goddamn saint, but she must think that I have the attention span and patience of a carrot, which is probably true. But I'm like, my son just won't. Like, I'm not a good teacher. I just I don't have that in me. But like, with me, he won't count to seven. He was on with her for like 45 seconds, and he was like, yeah, E equals MC squared. And I was like... Where was that shit? Yeah, he five could recite five. Be, what do you? And he could recite the, all the numbers, not even just no. Right. And I'm like, what? Uh, thinking about it, no. And she's like, I don't know, I don't know. So she must think I'm making stuff up. Right. But you know what I will say about Mother's Day is that I'm thankful that I have like this one day. Like I get, you know, the moms they think I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but get over it. If it's not this, it's something else. I like that moms have Mother's Day. Whatever. I do not like when I get a happy Father's Day. Why? Oh, well, obviously, because of our, my living situation. It's very, like, we, you have a... I take it as a compliment. A traditional, I don't... I'm not a father, I'm a mother. Well, if you're doing both, it'd be like, yeah, I rock all of this. No, and just because I have a dad bod does not mean that I'm playing both roles well. It just no, means... You're, you're, you're all set. I just, you know, I know how to sit on my couch. Right. 
But I do, and you, but I think people mean well. Like I don't think that there's any like a hue behind it. But I just or think not. like leave Mother's Day to moms, leave Father's Day to dads. Like don't take away from them because That's mother douchebag couldn't or wouldn't or whatever. Just like yeah, separate the two. Because if we don't, then we're gonna come up with like we're gonna have like a whole bunch of different days. So keep the mother son dance alone and the father daughter dance alone. I really hope that the mother son dance comes back when everyone's allowed to make contact again. You listen, we want it. We'll try. I know, because it's your favorite thing to do to put Travis behind a table accepting money from minors. We usually have to talk Travis into taking care of this every year. Well, he, yeah, he but he always does. My brother does. You know, there's there's a good crew there. Yeah. I really like it. Oh, it's I the have best. A, I have a lot of fun. And it's not a fundraiser. It's an event. We don't do it to make money. I yeah, we know. Yeah. I know you guys go broke when you go there because my son leaves with diabetes. He cleans out the entire cookie section. What's wrong with I'm Oreos? Like, Bro, is that the only my brother buys all the snacks. Him and Dave I know he's always. <laughs> yeah. I always feel I'm like he Ryan's going to think that I don't take care of my son or feed him because every time we get there, I'm like, "Great, you want to dance?" and he's like, books it to the cookies and the milk and he's come he's like seizing he's so excited yeah yeah no right you know the guy in the meme he's like you got diabetes that's grayson in like 10 years <laughs> not even 40 years that's just a 10 because dude can eat some cookies yeah no my, my brother has yeah we keep telling him juice rye kids don't like juice we yeah, they do but they love pepsi even more you know what though i don't even know if my kid would would drink pepsi he sees milk and what he thinks is ginger ale, done. He likes it? Oh, it's like crap. So he's in heaven with the school deliveries right now. <sighs> you guys. I, I got 14 gallons yesterday. Chocolate milk we have at our house. I got 14 gallons of milk. <laughs> you have four kids. Yes. Oh, I can only imagine. No, you can't. We, have, we had to invest in a separate refrigerator. All for milk. I had to get our. And I'm not look, complaining. These people. No, are doing not complaining job. at all. And what they're doing, I think, is fantastic. Oh, it's, we're supporting the dairy funny. farmers of America. It's awesome. I was really sad because I did see an article by I don't remember the name, but it was like a like a major dairy producer, and they said that they've been having to waste a lot of their milk. Yeah, they're dumping it in. Yeah. Just like mass quantities. That's nuts. That and beer. Did you know that too? I will kill someone. Well, there's a place, so, uh, a place in Germany. Damn it, premeditated. You could now. go in a place in Germany right now with a bucket, and rather than dump it, they'll fill your bucket. There's so many things I want to say. Same here. I'm holding oh, back. I'm filling your bucket. I'm, <laughs> I'm holding back so bad. <laughs> okay, hurts. heartburn. It almost hurts. Did you just turn us off? The TV timed out. It's like we don't. We don't. We the, don't. Even then, feedback was like, we don't want this. Well, we don't need that. Just like we don't need the sun on, on me <laughs> right now. We do. You're the only person I know that's gonna get a sunburn <laughs> from the spotlight. From the from the spotlight. No, I would have put on SPF 75 if had I known. But next time, just have a bottle here, you guys. So back to Mother's Day though. This is important. Like, are they gonna take you out to eat? No, just kidding. Actually, my kids are pretty good about taking care of me. Really? Yeah. You want a moment? I didn't think you'd pan back before that. <laughs> that was a jerk move. I was impressed, just so you know. That hurt. You know, I've never seen anybody drink water like that. That's, how do you think I got these two kids? <laughs> Wait, wrong end. <laughs> wow. Am I blushing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought no. that was a sunburn. No, it is. It's a sun. The pole burn. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole other show. <laughs> That's a whole. Listen, you are going to be a recurring guest here, mostly because after this, everybody else. Which multiple personality do you want here, though? I would love them all. That's a tall order to fill. I know. Yeah. No, uh, no, my kids really are good about it because, like, you know how. Well, I don't know how true this is. I don't think it's that true for women either, but like how, you know that stupid ass saying like, oh, you find out who your friends are when you have kids. Like, Oh, it's true. Shut the hell up. No, it is not. Oh, it is. If you did not know your friends were fake as hell before you reproduce, then you are dumb. No, you find out who understands you better, yeah. but not who they your friends are. So, like I've had, 
Uh, like my girlfriend group has only grown, but I haven't lost anybody that I can think of off the top of my head. If I can't think of you, then you weren't that important. But like I legitimately, and like when I see shit like that, I'm like, you're dumb. If you didn't know that your friends weren't cool with you before. No, they, you find out the ones who understand it. Just who go, want to. Go to the supermarket, it. whether it's John's or Parody's, and you'll know right away who has parents. Because when yours starts freaking out, and we're sticklers, like we're probably going to leave. And then the other parents who are like so happy that it's not them this time are like giving you the thumbs up and they're like applauding you and it's like thank they're you they're walking by you in the hallway yeah. like yeah mm -hmm. yeah we we've been there we get it you're that all meme set. where you have the person the parent pushing the shopping cart and their kids holding on being dragged on the floor that's me because this is my 10 minutes to go to the store and i'll be damned if i have to put these cookies down because you can't control yourself exactly Suck it up. I went around the whole store the other day with Madeline laying down in the bottom of the cart, and I don't mean in the basket. And I don't. I'm with you. No, she was leaving tread marks. I accidentally got super mad and was forgot. I was talking to a child, and I was like, you need to nut up. Let's go. You're not supposed to say that? Get it together. No. Oh, okay. You're not. Duly noted. Well, that's what the lady at the store told me, and I was like, then you take them home. They would never. They would never. Well, they'd ask for your address to get, bring them back. <laughs> that's, that's I'm not true. telling you. Although he's very good with directions. He could be like, no, take this turn. <laughs> no joke. So my BFF from Portland came up once and she stayed at the house with us. I don't remember what she was here for. It was a long weekend. And I went, I had to go to work Monday morning. I said, whenever you guys get up, I can take Grayson and Evie to work. The babysitter with me whenever I go to work or you can take them when you wake up. She says, don't worry about it. I'll take them when I get up. Cat. So I go to work, I'm there for 7, she calls me around 8.30, and she's like, um, Grayson knows how to get to the babysitter, right? I said, yeah, he knows how to get there. Little shit. You drove there? Because, okay, so you leave, you go down my house, and you get to, like, the street towards St. Uh, the ski toe. And if you take a left, you're going to the sitter. If you take a right, you're going to his best friend Joseph's house. So he was like, yeah, you come down here, and then you go up here. And it's the brown house. So she pulled in. She let him out. And he ran to the house. And she's like, it's here, right? She sent me a picture. And I was like, that little shit. He's brilliant. And he knew what he was doing. Of course he did. As, as soon as she said, Grayson, he turned around. He was like. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost there. This close. I was like, this is my future. <laughs> but I've done that to my parents, so I really can't say anything. No, oh, he's good. He's a smart cookie. Dude's legit smart. Yeah, they all are. No, it's, it's unreal. Yeah. No, no, I mean, mine send me stuff where it's like, where did you learn that? You know what, though? I was actually talking about you and Beth the other night. Story of our life. In a good way, though, this time. Well, it's always good about your Beth. About, your, about Beth. About my Beth? About I'm, not, Beth. I'm not that possessive, really. Well, Most not the since time. the restraining order. No, that was one time. That was for two years. So we... Right. It was actually me and Lana, we were talking about you guys. We, I don't know, I don't remember how we got on the subject of it, but we got talking about Harvest and this and that, and you guys are super involved in that. Family farm, oh yeah. Yes, and I just think it's awesome. Like, I love how you guys collectively raise your kids. Like, it's, fun. it's such, like, you guys are always going, you're always doing something, but it's always tradition-based, as we, like, we talked about a yes. while ago. Like, there's always that... It's fun, and it's now, and it's today, but this is why we do what we do. This is Big why time. it's important. It is a super And important. you still, like on Easter, you guys still go get the brook? We do. Can you that. explain that? Because I don't even fully understand it, and I really don't think a lot of people well, who church, aren't from the valley know It's church-related, first of all, so I yeah. understand where you got lost. You're right, because um, uh, Satanists don't do that. Not unless they want to burn. <laughs> Holy water does that. Mm -hmm. so every... Uh, uh, Easter morning, 2.30 in the morning, we walk down to the brook, fill a container with water, and as uh, long as you get it before the sun's up, technically, that's your holy water. Okay, so that's the point of it, is, is that's considered holy water, like you don't have to go get it blessed. And Correct, because that's when Jesus went to the river to wash, and it was before light, and I really sound like a priest right now. And it's that's fine, not, we know you're not. No. No, we're not. No. You know what's funny is that we're talking about all this religion and stuff. So last week we told people, uh, write in if you have things that you want us to talk about, you want to whatever. We had somebody write in and it was like really, was kind of like a really long question, but to summarize it was, 
why in this generation do we take relationships from like zero to 100 really fast? And why don't we talk about religion and how you would raise your kids and stuff before we do all these other things? And I was like, well, if you just like hook up right off, then you'll know. Because if he's going to yell, oh, God, then you can narrow it down. So that makes him religious. And then if he yells, oh, Satan, well, okay, then you know you're going to go that way. And if he doesn't say anything at all, then just dump he's him because he's, he's going to be boring as hell. Right. No. If he doesn't say anything, you dump him. I don't plan on dating How him ever. How awkward would that be? Oh, oh yeah. phone's ringing. It's the cops. Probably. Hello? You're on with Nico. With who? Now, I'm, I'm trying to call... I'm. I'm trying to call the Steve Crossing the still doing, uh, you know, pizza and garlic sticks. So this is Mike. Uh, this I, is Mike was in. You know, this is Mike was in married to the very, uh, very, very the beautiful bootylicious and no. forgiving what? Tanya. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. How many minutes do we have to wait? Because we're waiting. Because oh. we so, charge so per hour. Mike, you, you got the, I was, you got the Nico I was show, buddy. A, and I called in the night. <laughs> Well, it's not Nike show. And I called in the night with Chris Malberg. Now, listen, I, 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 really, I really have, uh, I'm starstruck almost on the phone. I'm nervous talking on the phone right now to, to Chris It's Malberg. not even for me. It's about freaking Chris. I don't care about that. <laughs> yeah. I didn't um, know this would happen. Sorry. You know. Yeah. I should have known. I was, I was, uh, no, my, my alert on my phone went off. And I was like, oh, I got to order a pizza from Crossing. Is that, and, is that why you tried calling me 37 oh times? <laughs> yeah, that, that's why my phone's been going off at least no. 37 times right now. Would somebody put Mike a pizza in? No, please? no, no. That's not, that's not, it was the wrong number. Mike, thanks for calling in, buddy. It was the wrong, I, I mean, I, I, I'm so, I'm, I'm so, like, <laughs> excited right now. I can't, I can't. Can't control it. So on that note, Mike's going to bed now, guys. <laughs> Have a good one, Mikey. You're uh, you're re- you're representing Daigle Oil Company like never before. You guys are doing a good job. You guys you guys are doing a good job, really though. I mean, it's uh, it's uh, it's nice to see you know something different amidst all this weirdness going on. Well, you got different sitting on a couch in a chair right now. You that's, got different and weird. <laughs> yeah, that's for it. darn sure. Uh, M- Mike, Doug just texted, said he'd no, like he, you to go fix something. No, the real, the real, <laughs> the real star of the night is my wife. Because my, my oh, and on that I note, we lost him. I can't tell you're stuttering Stanley or not. Oh. <laughs> Okay, bye. Hello. Oh, oh there we bye. And he's and he's gone. And he's out of here. Ah, oh, yes, Mike was in. Never a dull moment. He, no, he's funny. I didn't realize that he did like all that racing stuff. He loves doing stuff like that, and he's a heck of a a mechanic too. Working out of the house a lot. To, you're I welcome. I work out of the house a lot too. Yep. People that call that hooker. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, that's what they call it. You know what? I actually contemplated being like like a weird hand fetish person. Be like, do you like man hands? I'm the girl for you. I don't even know where to go like, with I'm that. I'm just going to open pickle jars and put it on YouTube and like charge five bucks a view. Beth and I have spare rooms at home. You'd fit right in at home. Just bring the kids. Why? Well, yeah, she needs a man around the house. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm allowed to come in. Yep, come on in. Boom. Come on down. I'll give you my bra. We're about the same size. Yep. <laughs> Smaller. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're probably the same in width for sure. That's actually not a joke. My BFF gave me a bunch of her bralettes because it's like cute, whatever. I don't know what I a bralette is, but. And I was way too fat for any of them. Like I legit could, I like tried to put them on. I'm like, I'm going to be so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and it was physically painful. I had marks on my body. I had to give them to my sister. So it made you do baby shark is what happened? Yeah. Well, baby shark. Slash, I pulled the ligament. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was very hard. I have a back injury. Right. Yeah. So, do the kids sleep in their own rooms or like are they uh, in bed? Whoa, sore subject. Don't even talk to me about this. Okay, so do they? No. Where do they sleep? Okay, my four year old's on the porch roof. She has with the no crock pot? In- My four year old. 
like potty trained herself. She taught, like I didn't have to even hold her up when she, to like learn how to walk. She legit just decided one day I'm gonna walk. And she did stairs the same day that she learned, learned how to walk. It's incredible. And then I have my son, six years old, who would still nurse if I let him. <laughs> Except this is obviously powdered milk because I stuffed these into an egg cup, and there's room, there's room to measure. <laughs> it's like I could hide a couple stacks in here. No, and he'll be like, "Oh, mom, I'm ready for bed." I'm like, "Okay, well, go, go put yourself to bed." And I go look in his room. No child. A mother who sees that might go, oh, "What happened?" And then I'm like, "Ah, oh, fuck, he's in my bed." Damn. And I go in my room, and he's like this. And you let him. So he wins. Well, honestly, there's nobody else trying to get in there, so. But the ad in the St. John Valley said do. <laughs> I'm like, hey, why don't you, just, you can sleep with me. I said, what would you ever do if mom got a boyfriend and then he, like, he started staying at her house and he laughed. <laughs> and I was like, well, if my six-year-old knows that that's never going to happen. May as well just let him. I'm just going to start consulting with him. Like, okay, it's time for a new bed set. What do you think? So you're missing all the fun things that happens aside from. When you're in bed with somebody. Uh, no, because I, I have two children and live by myself. I that's think not I the know same. exactly what happens. No, no, that's not the same at all. Like when you're... You know what? I'm so good with it. I'm so good with it right now. My wife would be too. That's why I would like, gladly sleep on the couch because it's better for everybody. Oh, it's so much more peaceful. Well, yeah, she doesn't have to listen to snoring, the little puffs of wind that come out every once in a while. Are you talking about ladies farting in bed? Oh, is that what you guys do? Is that what we're talking about? Because I'm hardly, you're more ladylike than me. I don't even, my wife says she doesn't fart in bed. Yeah, she definitely does. She says she doesn't, but I know she's lying. Problem is, is it's not as obvious. Like when I do, it's just a little. Well, probably because she's not going, hey, listen. No, no. She'll say. (laughs) She's like, oh, my phone just vibrated. No. And you're like. (laughs) No, no. See, actually, it's very similar to that. Yes. But. (laughs) Like I'll just your voice let, is not that deep. I'll let a little out, and it'll stink up the whole place. So you queef. It's not what I was referring to. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but now then, we're getting somewhere. But, well, do you do this? Well, to yourself because you're Your alone feet. in bed. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> listen. No, she doesn't have to <laughs> do that. On. I just know it's happening because the entire bed starts shaking because <laughs> of the. Out of this world laughing that happens. I was going to say, is, is her passing gas what gets your bed to shake? Yes. Because automatically she goes into full I laugh fart mode. I fart for fun too then. No, it means that it's going to roll me out of bed because it stinks. <laughs> I would fart with my tightest jeans on if that's what was the only thing that would get things rumbling. <laughs> going to buy a set of Spanx I would put today, those yeah. size 8s back on like... <laughs> Oh my God! Are you putting them on? I'll, I'll send you a pair for Christmas. <laughs> that will be my Santa no, I gift. I have a whole bunch of pants I can't put on. That'll be my Christmas gift at the Christmas party. <laughs> Bitch miss. Bitch miss. I don't want to say that. That sounds so. Well, if you can't say it, that means you can't go. No, from a guy, it sounds wrong. Yeah, well, you haven't really met my friends. You know what? I actually, t- I tell people about my my friends. I'm like, listen. If you, because like my sister in law, I love her. She's so gentle. She's like a little flower. And then I'm like, Yoni, you should come hang out with us. And she was, at first, she was just like, no, oh, no, I'm busy. I'm like, every day for 11 years? Mm hmm. Uh, well, she's got no, she's like a daisy. And then my friends and I are like angry cactuses, like Venus flytraps. Like, no, we're great. But we will destroy each other. Like, we don't care. My BFF put a picture of me on Facebook for National Pet Day and said, shout out to my dog. <laughs> With, are we talking like poodle? No, she was Rottweiler straight up like, or, here's my Roddy. Yeah, okay. Here's my big mouth fucking Beethoven dog. Slobbering, yeah. And I was like, yeah, well, I am kind of a bitch. So I guess that makes sense. But we are like that to each other, like all of us. Like there's no mercy. So when I tell you, and I, it's on the invite at Bitchmas, if you don't come, it's merciless. You are the one for the whole night. I've never had anybody show up to Bitchmas 
without being some kind of Christmified because they don't they don't want to be they don't want that. I, I'm, but there. I'm there then. You will know that my friends like you if they're destroying you, if just like feed whatever. off your own. But if we don't say anything to you at all, pack it up. Yeah, it, that's when it's danger zone for you because we're coming up with some real funny shit that we're not saying to your face. <laughs> And we're probably going to come up with a nickname for you so we can say it in public. Some and you silent know. texting going on there. Oh, not even silent. We're straight up just like, not really whispering. But we're very funny. So whenever I used to tell my sister, I'm like, come. And she was like, no. Because she's just not, she's not as angry and cynical and mean as, and, as we are. On but purpose? I think she's coming around. You can work on that. Well, yeah, because now she started having one or two cranberry vodkas a week. Oh, it's 14. coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm like, yeah. oh, now you're coming to the dark side. Yeah, yeah. we took some martinis home from here the other night, and the dark side went there real quick. I am dying for a dirty martini at Walker's. It's coming. Oh, my God. Have you had one from there yet? No, usually I go with uh, Colossal Caesar. Is it because they basically put a cheeseburger in it? It's a sa- I refer to it as my salad because there's, it's my full that's meal. That's not at all what I heard to you, heard you refer to your salad as. <laughs> oh, I well. guess that's a different episode. Maybe the 11 to 1 a.m. episode. Oh, our secret episode. Our secret episode. So yeah. actually, we want your opinion. So leave in the comments. Josh will take note here. If you want us to have is Josh an episode here? that's from. Is Josh it's is- like a late night, like a big brother so kind sweet. of. Like, if you're a Big Brother type watcher, what do they do? Like, they have Big Brother at night, right, after Josh? Dark. Big Brother after Big dark. Big Brother after dark. So from, like, 11 to 1 or, like, whatever, there could be us where it's completely unfiltered. Because right now, this is you and I with a filter. I'm trying hard. Uh, very. I know you're sweating. No, sweating I'm getting back. sunburned. It's just from the light. That's <laughs> strictly sunburn. <laughs> and me in my onesie. I'm having a hold my pee. I thought there was going to be like a makeup crew here or something, but no. And you know what? I almost texted you because when okay, so I sat there last time, and I could see like how horrible my skin is, and I was like, I don't want that chair again. So then they moved me here, and the light bounces different. So I was like, I didn't care what happened to you. Obviously, but I get it. Oh, yeah. whatever. You're already taken, and you're already like grandfathered in. So she's not going to leave you now. Oh, after 20 years, she's obviously a sucker for. Yeah, putting up with me. Maybe. She, does equal opportunity apply to weddings? <laughs> Jobs, yes. Weddings, I hope so. How do you think I have not been fired? <laughs> Roy Bernard, we'll talk. Think. About why to keep you longer. Exactly, Roy. <laughs> Matt Collins, like, I put in her papers today. <laughs> I mean, we could easily throw Mike under the, uh, Matt under the bus too, but we wouldn't do that. No, I would never make fun of Matt Collin because he's the tallest man I know with the most hair. Are we talking about I would, Matt Carpenter? Oh, you're right. Mike Collins. Yeah, no, you're Matt, right. Matt Collins. Sorry. Yeah. We're, I'm losing yeah, track of you here. No, I'm, I know him too. Okay. Ouch. I love you. You're going to be working from home for like the next... <laughs> you retire. I'm going to be working from home, but not for my current company. <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, unless they're super. Wait, pretty. do I get those badass unemployment benefits? Fire me. <laughs> Please fire me. No. Damn it. Sorry. Not gonna happen. That has made so many people so mad. Of course it has. Can I ask you a question? And we're not going to delve into it because I don't argue, conversate, whatever, whatever, about politics or religion, but I want to know, like, are you a registered? Yeah. In what party? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll start so you know this is not an attack. This will not, and anybody, just anybody watching? And I've been to vote, too. Who are texting or calling in, we are not interested in debating, we don't want your opinions, we don't care about political, you can, you, you'll be blocked. Probably don't even care about you, but whatever. Facts. Yeah. So I was a registered Democrat. I know. Super hard to believe. But I actually went to an independent. Yeah. In this last one, because I just thought the whole thing was a shit show. 
Did you stay with the party that you were in? Yep. You did? Yep. And I, and I voted, and I'm still registered. I'm so, well, yeah, I voted, but it didn't really make a difference. I didn't exactly vote independent. I was just like, I don't fucking trust anybody right now. But it was funny because I was laughing because everybody knows our friend Chad. Yeah. Chad Argo here. And his views and stuff, which there's nothing wrong with them, but I always laugh because every time he posts something, I'm like, bro, how are we even friends? Like, how do we get along? Yeah. Things are so crazy. Yeah. People get nuts about it. No, that's why I never talk about it. So when you ask, am I registered? But I love it. I am. I know. I was just curious, though. No, and, and I'm definitely a registered voter. But I voter. meant registered like I even voted for president. Offender. Which one? The president. Your political party. One of them. Oh God! I pissed him off. He's calling. That is Chad Pelletier calling. Chad, you called the wrong number. Chad, the, could the number be up on the screen for Chad? Because. Uh, oh, he's like. Chad, it's uh, three seventy twenty four twenty four, buddy. Chad, we can't answer your cell call. You have to call on the other line. Right. <laughs> right. Right now he's swearing at his phone. Son of a... <laughs> right. Why are you bringing my name into this? Oh, we love Chad. Chad's got a great... Yeah. I'm just waiting for that phone to ring. Well, he's just letting you down right now if he doesn't, and you don't want to let... Chad's never... Chad, three's right after two, buddy. And seven's not much farther down the... Uh, it's down to the right, just a hair. He'll get there. Yeah, right now Danielle's trying to help him dial. <laughs> She's like, Chad, and they're like, two. Chad. Oh, seven, three. Like you even know what that is. The rotary Hello? Phone. <laughs> he did, he just let us down by not calling in. <laughs> He's probably on the phone with the operator right now, like, can you connect me with crossing? <laughs> <laughs> like the border? She's like, sir, that is not how this works. <laughs> you talking about the border? No, no, the restaurant. <laughs> oh, we <wait, What>? are not, <laughs> not doing that. Chad's like, I told that bitch. You know what he's going to do? He's going to pretend to cut my lawn this next month and then not do it at all. And he'll be like, that'll show her. Oh, like he did to most lawns? Uh, just sorry, let, he definitely does a great let job. Let bushes grow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the 80s, Chad. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it is if you were to look at Josh's mustache. <laughs> You're like, if the 80s messed with a pedophile. Lady, late 80s, too. <laughs> in French, we'd say late 80s, about us. Facial hair, Josh. We're, we're, letting, we're letting Mike was in down oh, at the moment, God. too. Oh, God, Mike was in's like, I can't make this call on public. But and I'm Mike gonna... hates politics, so said nobody if they've ever read his Facebook page. I was going to say, who the hell said that? My nobody knows. You do know that they're both married to saints, right? I literally tell this to Chad every time I see him. I don't know how or why you got such... Luck? The, yeah, like Girl she's luck. just... There's Girl. nobody like her. Yeah. There's nobody. She's and I mean that with the utmost respect. Claire's like, hello, bitches. Me. But Danielle really... No, dude, she's a saint. Yes, Claire. I'm sure you'll She's make a good wife on a too. Saint. <laughs> Somebody's feeling a little bit left out of the. Someday. I know she almost Someday. broke her arm trying to. She was like. I heard she's know. getting married though. Did you hear that? Uh, I think I got invited, but like I'm, I think I might be busy. I'm gonna be out of town. But... I'm gonna have a UTI. I won't be able to go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll be there. That's fine. I, I'm kind of hoping you're there to like take over the mic and be like. I did. I've done that this at a few. Is Nichols' wedding. I've done this at a few weddings. Actually, I've done it at a few of his weddings. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh, this will just be like throwback for me and you. I'll, I'll be like, hello everybody from, from the Nichols. Nichols. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Oh, so the mustache is yeah. so it looks different in the wedding pictures. Yeah. Yes, because <laughs> they, they actually oh. have to stand 50 feet, feet apart no. I gotcha. to take their vows. <laughs> It's going to go before the wedding, or the wedding will not. Or the, the wedding, wedding will go before the wedding. I don't know why Claire says that, because she's doing it right now, so she's, she's not going to care about it that day. day. She's going to be boozed up. And, and, and Megan, Megan said she would bring clam dip, so she's still going to get married to Claire doesn't even drink. That's... Anymore. N not last summer, Claire. This summer, Claire is a fish. So, meanwhile, Nicole, <laughs> just to like... Hey, listen, you wanted to bring it up. We switched the cameras, girl. I'm ready, I'm ready. So, just to be clear, um, clam dip will happen. I cannot eat it. No, Perfect. Oh, Nicole will get clam dip. 
Yes. I will not Maybe they're gonna bring clam dip for her wedding, wedding, but I'm gonna eat it. Could we have clam dip next time we're here? Dude, Dude for reals. Wow. I'm deaf. Okay. No, that's what I'm okay. telling you. We, we have that sound. Clearly, the Lights. water deliveries yep. and the coffee and all the other things are not good enough for you guys. So. Oh, they'd have been fine if it was clam dip. If it was endless. <laughs> all right. Thanks, sir. Thanks for coming. I do love clam dip. I actually learned of a trick that people do in their clam dip I did not know about. I'm, I have only been privy to watching Megan's one time. John and, Joe? Yeah, and I'm too scared of her. I'm kind of better than her. To not, I'm going to let you say that on camera, not me. She knows it. Who invited Claire? To whatever, whatever but, but I have seen people put, put green, green onion. onion. I had never, never heard of that. that. Green onion in clam dip. We're French Acadian. Of course there's green onion in it. Well, I know that we put onion in basically everything, but I had never seen clam dip with green onion in it. And whenever I saw that, I was like, well, now I can't unsee that. I can't undo it. But was it good? Obviously. it was. Because you could put green onion in my water anything. and it doesn't mean it would be good. You know what? I have some of the weirdest, like, snack, like, pears. I'll Wait. hit you with one and then you tell me yours because everybody has one. Okay. Okay. Tostitos, no. Cheeto, not Tostitos, Cheetos Twists. Cr as I say, crunchy or not? No, no the, the twists. twists. Uh, oh, the little yeah. spirals. Yeah. And then you just take, take them and you dunk them, them in salsa. salsa. That is the best snack you'll ever have in your whole life. Christopher. Yeah. Oh. There's green onion in your water. Perfect. Exactly. See? That was awkward. Here we, yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know how to respond to that. No. But I'm going to let it go because I, I, I didn't know if it was like a joke. See, I'm not really a Cheetos twist guy, guy though. I'm, I'm more like a jar of olives no, and a bag of sliced <laughs> roast beef. So what you're saying is that you like roast beef. No, I said I like olives. <laughs> I have so many places I want to take this. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hot now. Yeah. yeah. What is your weird snack then? Everybody has a weird snack that they like. That's barbecue chips, the mesquite, ketchup chips, cream and with cream cheese. I don't like cream cheese. What? You like tomatoes. Cut the show. And I despise tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. You like tomatoes, Nicole. Welcome to the Chris show. <laughs> where <laughs> You don't like tomatoes? Actually, I can't think. My, my work husband, husband doesn't like tomatoes, tomatoes and I just think that's crazy. Which one's that? <laughs> I only have one weird cousin, Marcus. He doesn't like tomatoes. No, that's because they're just miserable. You're miserable. Have you ever... So you enjoy biting into a sour, seedy, gross tomato? Have you dated past 30? It's the same thing. I was married at 22, so no. Okay, well, there you go. And if I dated, I'm not going to admit it. Dating past 30 <laughs> is like biting all tomatoes. These old seedy nasty things and you're just hoping so maybe the advice from having me on tonight was you should stop eating old tomatoes I should just get a new garden <laughs> and eat a damn apple <laughs> things will go so much I think smoother I'm just gonna like start <laughs> my food just I'm gonna make a smoothie yeah Nutribullet baby I'm gonna just yeah. ninja it to yep. death yep like I don't need nothing but my ninja <laughs> no so you keep your tomatoes you can have my tomatoes yep I don't want your rotten ass tomatoes. Beth's had them tomatoes for 20 years. Yeah, like this year, 20 They're years. The little Romas now. I could put those in my purse. <laughs> sun dried, baby. Yeah, yeah sun dried. <laughs> yeah. Look more like a little garlic. <laughs> was there a video in the bathroom too? Or just, I, thought it was, I thought it was just. Man, I thought the sound was on, but. Wow. Let me turn the sun off now. It's really hot in here. I've had. Mostly joy having you on tonight. Plenty of regret. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm very glad you came on tonight. I know that we're gonna want to have you back. I know everybody's gonna want. Only brought one ego tonight, and one. That's fine. I left the altar once home. I only brought one depends, and it's basically full. So. <laughs> That's got nothing to Listen, do with. Listen, where you wear when you wear a onesie, you got to be precautious. Summer. I'll never make a little back hatch in that, like, <laughs> like the old style. Uh, back action. If I put any more back action on here, people are about to learn a whole lot about Ew. you. Whoa.
Well, we if you guys had logged in before we started, you would have seen me dancing with my fupa. Let's see it. I'm not, I can't do that right now. You can. No, that definitely would take more. No, because I'm, thankfully, and fortunately for me, we are coming to the end of our time here. I have ah. very much enjoyed you being here. Thank you. I enjoyed being here, and we kept it low tonight. You know what the sad is that this is low key for me and you? We're doing it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as soon as they cut mics, we're going to like, just, oh, shit, fuck balls. <laughs> just start yelling. What was that? What was that? I'm sorry. Huh? I heard nothing. Um... So everybody check out umfk.edu slash alumni slash giving. Check out the fundraisers they have going on for the students. If there's any way that you want to get involved with the Lions Club to give back to the community. Hey. The Lions Club has been killing it. And um, we, Thank you. I'm sure that they would love the, the extra support. If there's we got more coming. We got a surprise coming beginning of next week. Surprise, you're not president anymore? Or? Surprise, I'm still president. Oh, okay. Sorry to all of you who are out there in the membership. I know. Sorry, Roy, I tried. Yeah, yeah, no, Roy's, yeah, Roy, that would just shot Roy right up the ladder farther than he is. Yes, done with treasure, you're welcome. <laughs> He's like Prince Harry right now, just waiting for a turn. <laughs> yeah, take the checkbook. <laughs> I hate this thing. Fuck him. So, no, we got a good project coming where <clears throat> we're going to have most of the Lions Club involved in it. And we didn't even get the meat to do it. So, well, there you go. How's that? So, if there is any way that uh, any of you guys want to get involved, let us know. Write to SJV Live, write to the Lions Club, or write to Chris personally. I'm sure that he would not hate that. And then, Finally are we using your feet. personal email still? Yeah. Lonelynightsathome.com. No, that was the other one. It's, yeah, but that A is a four. So. Oh. Lonely night. I'm just, I was like trying to be young and hip. Lonely nights at home at tearsonmypillow.com. Oh, I keep forgetting the tears. It, you're right, because most people think it's just one tear, but it's more than one. I just thought it was on oh, the pillow. Oh, look at that. I was like, <laughs> Whoa. Pay attention. Tears are falling. So lonely nights at home at tears with a Z on my pillow at dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Thank you guys. We appreciate you coming out with us. If you have anything you want to say or any questions you want to ask, send it to No Nonsense with Nico. We'll see you next week. <laughs>